Hi, welcome back to Garden Ninja. Now today's video is gonna be on pruning roses, but this isn't like every other video out there. If like me, you've inherited a load of really old, frankly, ugly roses that look in a real mess, then this video's for you. Cause I'm gonna show you how you can renovate old, tired, broken roses and turn them into beautiful specimens. So come on, let's get cracking. Now there are loads of different types of roses and each of them has a slightly nuanced version of pruning but the guide I'm going to give you today should help cover most of those. Now the roses I'll be showing you today are hybrid tea roses and what that means is that they grow a stem that has one flower on in the summer. You've also got Floribunda roses which have the stem but with multiple clusters of flowers. Now the only difference is with a hybrid tea you can prune a bit more than you can with a Floribunda. With a Floribunda you want to take off maybe only a quarter, not a third, whereas a hybrid tea rose you can be a bit firmer. Now winter is an ideal time to prune your roses and what we're aiming to do is to take out any of the dead wood, the old unproductive stems and prune back to an outward facing bud. So dead and damaged, old wood, pruned to an outward facing bud and I'm going to show you how to do that now. So the first thing I'm going to do is take out any dead wood and you can tell that because it's usually dark brown and if you snip a bit off it's kind of crispy in the middle. So here we've got a really good example of a dead stem and this is called necrosis where the tissue dies and it goes all the way back. Now we do have a bud here but it's facing inwards so we don't want that one. So with my sharp secateurs I'm going to nip this off here right back at an angle so that the water can run off. So we'll move that round. This is a prime example of old wood. So I'm going to take that right the way back, really sharp cut. There we go. So this may look brutal, but if you follow me down here on this really laggy growth, you've got here an outward facing bud. So I'm going to nip it off there, which will look really brutal. Take a stand back and you'll see the kind of height that I've taken off. And anything that's crossing I'm also going to take out. So this one here, it's just sending out growth into the middle. I don't want that. So I'm going to nip that off. There we go. So to give you an idea of the scale, I've taken this bush down from about here to here. I've removed all the growth that's facing inwards, the dead material, and I've taken a third off all of this year's growth as well. So here you can see that there were two stems crossing over here. They've gone and we've tidied it up. So we've still got all these stems and little buds that are ready for this year's growth. If it were to hard prune it all the way down, you'll have to wait a year for it to grow again. So even if your roses are looking really old and tired, by taking them back and being patient, you can bring them back to life. You don't just need to hack them right the way back to the bottom. You can do it in stages and then you'll get the benefit of sunflowers this year and each year it'll get better and better and better. Now there's always going to be a few examples that don't quite fit the rule book and this is one of them. So some roses are going to be in such a bad way like this behind me which looks a bit like a gnarled witch's finger and no matter what you do with the new growth trying to renovate it it's never going to have a huge amount of impact. So in these cases, we're going to have to use a sharp pair of loppers and take it back to the ground, because that's the only way you're going to really renovate it. Now climbing roses need a different pruning technique, and you usually prune these at the end of summer or into autumn when they finish flowering. You don't tend to do this in the winter because you want them to send out new buds ready for next year. Now this example behind me I pruned at the end of summer, and as you can see here, there is one main arching stem. So I've taken off all the other side shoots with the exception of a few other strong shoots, but mainly you're looking for one strong support and you're gonna take it back. So if you have a look here, and I'll do a close up, there are some buds here that I've started to take already. So you want one strong support and then you can tie in all these laterals as they grow. What you don't want is about four or five of those going everywhere because all the energy is going to be wasted on growth and what you want is the energy to be focused onto spurs and flowers. So once you finish your pruning, make sure that you give your roses a really good mulch, whether it be compost or manure 
because they're really hungry plants. And what you'll notice is in the spring, where you've pruned the rows, those buds that are facing outwards will start to send out growth and that's where you're going to get your flowers. Don't worry if they look a bit awkward and ugly at the moment, they're bound to because we're renovating them. So it's probably going to take a few years, but by doing it bit by bit, you still get the flowers without all the desecration of a hard prune. So a lot of people find themselves inheriting roses when they move house and they don't know what to do with them. And sometimes you may even move into a garden and not have a clue what kind of rose it is. But please don't be tempted just to pull it up and put a shrub there instead. With a small amount of pruning and a little bit of patience, you'll be amazed at how beautiful roses can be in the garden. And even if they're in a really bad tatty shape, this guide's going to show you exactly how you can nip and tuck them back into the beautiful forms that they are. So there we have it, my super easy way to pruning roses, even if you don't know what roses they are. If you've liked this video, why not subscribe to my YouTube channel where there are plenty more garden design hints, tips and hacks. I've been Garden Ninja, I'm off inside for a warm brew. Happy gardening.